Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. The long tail cast on is one of my favorite cast on methods. And it's usually my go-to cast on when I'm swatching or knitting for fun. Once you teach your muscles the motion, the long tail cast on is fast. It creates a really pretty edge and it holds its shape while also having a fair amount of stretch. The long tail cast on works very nicely when you're knitting in the round. However, it can present a problem when you're knitting back and forth in rows. After casting on, when you turn your work over to start knitting, the cast on stitches present themselves as pearls with these little bars at the neck of the stitches that are on your needle. Generally, that means you're going to need to start knitting with a row that's primarily pearls, and usually that's a wrong side row. Often, that's not a problem, but sometimes you want to start things with a right side row. So today I'm going to demonstrate the standard right to left long tail cast on and then show you how to manage the cast on in reverse from left to right so you can start knitting with a primarily knit right side row. The standard long tail cast on begins with a slip knot and you need to leave yourself a nice long tail. Usually that tail needs to be three to four times longer than your cast on length. The yarn tail is going to create the edge of the cast on and your working yarn is used to form the stitches that are mounted on your needle. Place the slip knot on your right hand needle and make sure that the knot tightens when you pull on your working yarn. The working yarn is at the back, your yarn tail is at the front. This slip knot will be our first cast on stitch. Next, we need to position the yarn on our left hand in the slingshot position. And I usually start that by weaving the working yarn over, under, over, under the fingers on my left hand. Make sure your thumb and your index finger are between the working yarn and the yarn tail. And then you can take your other three fingers, bring them forward, and grab onto that working yarn and hold it tight. Spread out your index finger and thumb and then rotate your hand back. And this is what's known as the slingshot position. Throughout the cast on your thumb is going to move, but the other fingers on your left hand pretty much stay in a fixed position unless you need to readjust your tension. To begin casting on stitches, you bring your needle tip forward and then up through the thumb loop over the working yarn. Grab the working yarn and pull it forward through the thumb loop. Drop your thumb out of the loop. Use your thumb to pull on the yarn tail and tighten things up and then rotate your thumb back and you're ready to cast on another stitch. The needle tip comes forward and up through the thumb loop over the working yarn, grab that working yarn and pull it forward through the thumb loop, drop your thumb out of the loop, and use your thumb to pull the tail and tighten things up, and then rotate your thumb back into the slingshot position. That's how we normally teach the long tail cast on, but I'd like to take a look at just some slightly different terminology. We're still going to bring the needle tip forward and up through the thumb loop, but instead of going over the yarn, we're going to think of it as wrapping the yarn counterclockwise around the needle. It's still the same motion, but you can see here, if you're looking directly at the tip of the knitting needle, this working yarn is going counterclockwise around the needle. And then pull the yarn forward and through, drop your thumb out of the loop and tighten things up and rotate your thumb back. Again, this is exactly the same motion. You bring the needle tip forward and up through the thumb loop, and then make sure that the yarn is going counterclockwise, and I'm just gonna turn the needle here so you can see it, around the needle, bring the yarn forward, 
through the thumb loop, drop your thumb out of the loop, and tighten things up. It's exactly the same motion, but we're just thinking about it differently, about wrapping it counterclockwise instead of going over the working yarn. Whenever you wrap your yarn counterclockwise around the working needle, your stitch will be mounted on the needle conventionally, which just means that the right hand leg of the stitch is at the front of the needle and the left hand leg of the stitch is at the back. And you may not have thought of this before, but the same is true when you're actually knitting or purling your stitches. Whenever your yarn goes counterclockwise around the needle, when you're looking directly at the needle tip, you get a standard stitch mount with the right leg of the stitch at the front and the left leg of the stitch at the back. So again, once we cast on our stitches, when we turn things over to start our knitting, we see those pearl bumps at the base of our stitches. So we would need to start with a row that's primarily pearls, and in most cases, that would be a wrong side row. Now let's reverse everything and do the long tail cast on from the left to the right. Again, we start with a slip knot and that long tail, and just like before, the yarn tail will create the edge of the cast on, and the working yarn forms the stitches that are mounted on the needle. This time, the slip knot goes onto our left needle tip, but we still need to make sure it tightens when we pull on the working yarn, and that the working yarn is at the back, and our yarn tail is at the front. And again, this slip knot counts as our first cast on stitch. Now let's get in the slingshot position with our right hand this time. I'll tension the yarn by weaving the yarn, working yarn over under, over under the fingers on my right hand. Make sure my thumb and my index finger are between the working yarn and the yarn tail. Then bring my other three fingers forward and grab onto that yarn tail to hold it in place. Spread out my index finger and my thumb and then rotate my hand back into the slingshot position. And just like before, the thumb is going to do the majority of the work, and my other fingers will pretty much stay fixed in place unless I need to retension my yarn. To start casting on, bring the knitting needle forward and up through the thumb loop, just like before, and then we need to make sure that when we grab the working yarn, that it's going counterclockwise around our needle. And I'll turn things here just so that we can see that. The working yarn is being wrapped counterclockwise around the knitting needle. Then pull it through, drop your thumb out of the loop, and then tighten things up. Rotate your thumb back. The knitting needle comes forward and up through the thumb loop. The yarn goes counterclockwise around your knitting needle when you're looking directly at the needle tip and then pull the yarn forward and through the loop. One thing to remember when you're casting on is that you don't need to overly tighten your yarn. It's really hard here, especially since this motion is unfamiliar to most of us using our right hand in the slingshot position, it's really hard not to get things too tight because we're concentrating on so many things as we're casting on stitches. So just relax, practice a little bit, relax, and don't strangle your knitting needle with yarn. There's no need for that. And just again, we'll take a look here. Whenever you wrap your yarn counterclockwise around your working needle, and this time the needle in our left hand is the working needle, you get that conventional stitch mount. So you can see the right hand leg of the stitch is here at the front, and the left hand leg is at the back of the needle. And that's caused by the yarn going counterclockwise around your working needle. So before, after we cast on all our stitches, we turned our work over to start knitting and could see those pearl bars at the neck of all of the stitches. The same is partially true here. So if I turn the needle over, you can still see those pearl bars at the base of the stitches. 
but this time since we cast on our stitches onto the left hand needle instead of the right hand needle there's no need to turn things over when we work the first row this needle is already in position we'll keep it here in our left hand and the purl side of the stitches is at the back Generally, that's going to be the wrong side of your work is the purl side. And we can go ahead and start knitting across on the right side or the knit side of our work. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do both the standard long tail cast on and the reversed long tail cast on. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel, The Chili Dog, for more tips and tutorials. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!